Hey, good night, Pop. Hey, man, if you're gonna watch television, why don't you try turning on the set? Because I forgot. You want me to turn it on for you? I don't care. Hey, what's the matter with you, Pop? Come on, snap out of it, man. It just don't seem right watching television without grading. And tonight we were gonna watch his favorite show. The, the giant poker pine visits the sick people. <laughs> well, you know, you're gonna have to get used to Grady not being here all the time, because he's got a woman now, Pop, and that's, that's more fun than watching television. I'd rather watch Wild Kingdom. <laughs> she should have her own show. <laughs> wild, wild world of dogs. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're just gonna have to adjust to the fact that Grady's not gonna be here every night. Yeah, and I ain't got nobody to visit with me because you go out all the time. Hey, face it, Pop, the two of them are getting married, man, and you are gonna be the best man. And by the way, do you know what that means? What? You get to be the first one to kiss the bride. <laughs> I'd rather kiss Mighty Joe Young's armpits. <laughs> Now, you know, Pop, if she looked halfway good, you'd be trying to steal her for yourself. Who, me? Yes, you. I wouldn't mess with my best friend's girlfriend. I'm not that type of guy. You got to be awful low down to do something like that. Yes, you do. Well, I see you, Pop. I'm going over to Julio's. <laughs> going to Julio's? Well, don't drink the water. <laughs> I'm ashamed of you thinking I would do something like that to my best friend. Fool around with his girlfriend. I think that's the lowest possible human being in the world. A man got to be low down and dirty and a snake in the grass to fool around with. Fool around with. Give me the number at J.C. Penny. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, uh, the one, the one in the ghetto. <laughs> no, no. Way past Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Have a seat on the couch, make yourself at home. Ah, oh, how nice. Uh, you can have some. Why don't you try some of these uh, horse divers? <laughs> some of these what? Uh, horse divers. See, that's French for appetizer. <laughs> try one of them with, with the bologna on it. Dip it in the mustard and shove it in your chops. <laughs> I mean, uh, put it in your mouth. Excuse me. <laughs> It was very nice of you to have us over for dinner, Fred. Well, that's what friends are for, you know what I mean? That's the least we could do is uh, fix you a nice dinner, because you won't be doing that stuff no more. Stuff like what? You know, like when you when you get married, when you get off from work late, you have to rush right home and fix Grady's dinner and iron his shirts and wash his drawers. <laughs> Mr. Sanford, Grady is marrying me. What he does from now on really is just none of your business. Well, that's true. Uh, I just want to wish you the best of success and happiness and everything. Let's have a little drink and toast it. That would be nice. Yeah, that would be wonderful. I got some... <laughs> I got some good sparkling burgundy here. You do? Yeah. Cold Duck 59. 59? Was that a good year? No, that's a good price. <laughs>